These are the five most valuable companies in America. Notice anything? They're all tech companies, and their dominance is attracting attention from watchdog groups that say their market power is harming competition and the economy. Is it time to break up big tech? To answer that, you have to understand how tech has exploded. For our purposes, let's imagine the top five tech giants as Pac-Man or Pac companies. Except in this game, there are no ghosts around to avoid. No Blinky, no Clyde. Those ghosts are US regulators. For the past decade, the US has been mostly hands-off with big tech companies, letting them become even bigger by swallowing smaller rivals or entering new markets. Bloomberg data show that in the last 10 years, the big five have made close to 500 acquisitions worth about $140 billion. Because consumers like the company's products, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google have developed monopoly-sized market shares. For example, Amazon receives about 93% of all ebook sales. Google pulls in about 78% of internet search ad spending in the US. Similarly, Apple and Facebook dominate in smartphones and social media traffic. But being a monopoly isn't illegal in the US, or most other countries. Regulators stopped equating big with bad a long time ago. Monopoly cases brought by the US have also dwindled. In fact, the last high-profile case was filed in 1998, when the Justice Department successfully challenged Microsoft's dominance of computer operating systems. And that 20-year dry spell in monopoly cases has led some watchdogs to say that enforcement in the US has become too timid. They say big tech is hurting innovation, jobs, and wages. And some even blame the behemoths for a decline in successful startups. In Europe, America's big tech companies have faced more resistance, with governments more aggressively pursuing them. For example, the EU has fined Google for abusing its market dominance, and Germany is investigating Facebook for its privacy practices. Of course, the big tech players don't think they need to be broken up. They argue their dominance isn't guaranteed because new competitors can easily jump in. As Google likes to point out, competition is just one click away.